my friends? This is Cynthia again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Too Faced Pretty Rich collection and let me tell you, I am excited for this one. I've been keeping track of launch days, I've been looking for pictures everywhere on the web and then today is the day. Today we're talking Too Faced Pretty Rich collection. Also, if you want me to review the Pretty Rich lip glosses, please let me know in the comment section down below this is what they look like. I think they're absolutely beautiful in the picture. And if you want to see the swatches and have me try them on one by one in a video, I can definitely make that happen. Just make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. They have not launched. I think they're not going to launch until December 12th. So if I get enough requests, then I will purchase the glosses and then make a whole new video about the lip glosses. But before we get started in this Too Faced Pretty Rich Collection review, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the little notification notification bell so you can be the first to know when I upload new videos and let's get to it so I want to start off by adding a little bit of blush get some color into my complexion here and I'm going to be using the Corda Rosa blush by Sigma and it looks like this very natural very pretty I'm gonna use my Sigma F10 blush brush my handy dandy blush brush and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of this blush shade I'm not going to do the bronzer because I want the highlights to really stand out and I feel like the bronzer would change the color of my my highlights so blush it is and I like to bring my blush up into my temple so it's like a natural flushed effect as opposed to it being just like a line and I always tell my clients this trick whatever is left on the brush just bring it up onto the temple a little bit so it's more natural it has like a natural flow great so now that that's done we're going to move on to highlighting and I am going to do one highlight on each side of my face and I want to start off with fancy pink diamond because I feel like this is a color that's going to be a little bit more compatible with my skin tone I have a feeling that the canary diamond is going to be like a really bold highlight from the pictures that I've seen and I feel like this gold highlight is gonna look a little bit better on tan to deeper skin tone so let's start with fancy pink diamond and packaging looks like this it's very cute very two-faced they always come out with like the cutest packaging and then when you open it it's like this really adorable kind of jewelry box looking packaging which is adorbs so this is what the packaging looks like again it looks just like a jewelry box i think it's so adorable and it's something i would definitely want to have on top of my vanity it would just like look super duper cute just sitting there and it kind of has like a little locket so like if you click on it oh so it doesn't click but if you open it then it reveals this stunning pink highlight here so right off the bat it looks very vibrant let's go ahead and swatch it out so the feel of it feels very thin but ooh, look at that it's like really nice and vibrant so let's give it a swatch we swatch it yeah so this is like a very natural but bold and vibrant highlight i like that it doesn't have like any glitter to it not that i can see really it's all very like minuscule you can see that it has a little bit of reflective pink dust in it on the camera it looks just like a very sheen very clean highlight you could say because some highlights have so much glitter that they almost end up looking chunky so thus far i really love how the swatch felt and how the highlight is looking on my hand. So let's go ahead and try it on my face. I'm going to pick up a little bit with my highlighting brush. It's a Sigma F35. And I'm just going to start at the high points of my face, just like that. Okay. So first thoughts is that it's going on really nicely. I can definitely see it. And I am just going to do a second layer because I love me a bold highlight. Yeah, would you look at that? that ooh. That is like for real, for real. I love this highlight. I like that it's so reflective and multi-dimensional. It obviously has a lot of pink in it, but it also has a little bit of like a holographic feel to it, like the holographic highlight that looks just like this. This one is a little bit similar to that, except of course it has a lot of pink in it. Actually not really, because I say it has a lot of pink, but when it sits on top of my blush, the pink is not so pronounced. I feel like even though it is a pink highlight, it's still very wearable as you can see here. This is something I would definitely, 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 definitely wear on my regular days because it is just a stunning highlight. Let's do a little bit like right here in the center and the chin. I kind of want to do a little bit on my nose. 
I like that as I'm building the layers, it's becoming more bold, but it's not becoming like blinding. It's so wearable and effortless. Like I am really enjoying putting this on and I also feel like super bougie, just like holding my jewelry box with my highlight in it. <laughs> it's just bougie, it's a bougie packaging. It makes you feel like a princess. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to Canary Diamond. And by the pictures, I'm anticipating for this to be like a gold gold highlight and because of that i have a feeling that it might look a bit yellow on me but honestly you never know when you open it it has the same jewelry box feel to it and i love that on the box it says it's your time to shine that is so cute two Faced in general is just so cute and i feel like you could reuse these boxes and just kind of like make it into a jewelry box and just yeah feels very sturdy you can multi-purpose these for sure great so with this one oh my god whoa this is beautiful. Look at this. It's like a gold highlight. It looks like a bar of gold, but as you move it around and the light catches different angles, you can see it has a little bit of a pink dual tone to it. So it's gold, but I see a little bit of pink as I move it side to side. I don't know if you can um, really see that, but I can definitely see that. And I think it's beautiful and very unique. And unique in this industry goes a long, long ways because I feel like there's so many products out there that are just kind of repetitive, you know what I mean? But I really like this gold highlight so far. And this one feels just as creamy as the other one. Oh my God, I'm going into this highlight. That's what it looks like it is like really intense really bold very vibrant just like the pink diamond and it's obviously very gold but i wonder if this is going to be as gold as one of the deeper becca highlights so let's go ahead and give it a swatch next to the pink diamond and yeah unfortunately you can't really see it in the camera it just looks really vibrant and bold but as i'm staring at it right here i see a lot of gold and a lot of pink let's go ahead and um try it out and see what it looks like i'm just gonna pick a little bit of that up oh my god i kind of want to like eat it it just looks so perfect it looks like a really beautiful dessert and i love dessert all right well let's go for it oh uh, holy moly oh oh my god can you see all that pink that just went on my cheek oh my god i really hope you can see it because in the mirror i see so much pink and not as much gold as i thought i was going to see and it's really cool because i feel like it almost blends seamlessly into my pink blush there's so much pink reflection in this highlight it's insane this is so fun and so different this is something i would rock to a holiday party i'm thinking like new year's eve there's like glitter all over my eyes and i'm wearing this highlight that's that's how it makes me feel it puts me in like a festive new year's eve mood great well let's try a little bit like on my nose okay well this is super cool because it has kind of like a holographic feel to it like have you seen those instagram pictures where there's like really low light and it, the low light makes the highlight color stand out even more like if you've seen those Instagram pictures, like you'll know what I mean when I say that it has that same holographic vibe. But on both sides, I feel so pleased with both colors. I feel like they are very unique on their own. I do have to say that Fancy Pink Diamond feels a little bit more wearable, more everyday. It's vibrant, it's pretty, it's fun, but it's not like super out there, you know what I mean? It's just a really beautiful everyday highlight shade. And with Canary Diamond, it's giving me holiday vibes because because there's just so much holographicness going on. Even though I expected there to be like so much gold in it, it leans more pink. All right, so that does it for our Diamond Light Highlight Shades. And now we are going to move on to the Pretty Rich Palette. The actual name of this is the Diamond Light Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks just like this. The Diamond Light Eyeshadow Palette also looks kind of like a jewelry box. And I think that this logo is like super fun but it still goes along with the Too Faced theme i feel like if i open this it's going to reveal like super fancy diamonds and it's just gonna be like luxurious so let's go ahead and open it this is what it looks like i immediately am drawn to one two three four colors five i love 
these vibrant shades in here so this is what the palette looks like it has so many beautiful shades i especially adore the glitters in this palette there's that pink glitter there's a silver glitter there is even a holographic glitter i love the blue sheen in this i think this is such a fun and different palette and oh my god oh holy man whoa so this right here is like an actual glitter it's like it feels like a glitter and it feels like something that i would need an adhesive for so now that i've mentioned that this is a beautiful palette like 20 times already i do want to talk about the shades that are included in the palette i feel like these shades were organized in a certain way i feel like you could wear these colors going across like this each row can be its own mini eyeshadow palette you can do so many different looks with this it's crazy they give you the glitters and they also throw in some beautiful sheen eyeshadows and very very creamy matte shades so this is what they look like they are very rich extremely creamy and they feel very nice and thin they don't feel chalky in any way so let the swatch do the talking. You can't deny the swatch. Awesome, well, let's create a fun, glittery eye look, shall we? Let's get started. All right, well, because I absolutely adore gold, I am going to use this row right here straight across. So maybe I'm just going to use its designer exclamation mark as my brow bone highlight. And immediately, it's giving me a pop-in pigment right here. This is awesome. I love it when an eyeshadow palette is so well done that I, as a makeup artist, don't even have to do that much work. You know you have a good product when the product does the work for you. All you have to do is get the placement right and the blending. So next, with a large fluffy blending brush, I am going to pick up it's cashmere which is this transition color right here so i mean like check that out pigments on point the pigment is popping it is even i don't see any patches and it's just blending really nicely okay and with that same brush i'm going to also just do a little bit on the bottom lash line of it's cashmere so now i'm going to take a slimmer blending brush and i'm going to pick up some of oh that's rich Okay, so this is what the color looks like initially. I'm having quite a bit of fallout of Oh That's Rich, this dark brown, and I feel like it's going on a little bit patchy. So I guess my advice to that would be to go in or start off with light layers and build the intensity of your dark, rich colors. So now with that synthetic brush, I am going to pick up Don't Care It at all. I'm trying to pick up some of this with my brush. And it's not really picking up any. You know what? We're just gonna have to use the old school fashion way, our finger. I was able to grab quite a bit, so I'm just going to go for it and pack that down. And see that? That's a beautiful shade. After I picked some up with my finger, I was able to pick some up with my brush, which is really interesting. I also don't want to forget to add some of Oh That's Rich on my bottom lash line. And I'm going to use that using a smudging brush. Also, I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but my palette does have quite a bit of fallout coming from this color right here. You just have to be careful with that fallout. So now for the glitter, I'm going to add a very thin layer of eyelash adhesive because I don't know where my glitter glue went. All right, and when it starts to get tacky like it is right now, we're going to quickly, quickly pick some of Fluent and Diamonds with a synthetic brush, tap it on top. Ooh, but I love, ooh, this glitter though. So I'm working in light layers here. Yas, B. Ugh, the glitter. Oh my god. Check out that beautiful, stunning glitter. Mm -hmm. So moving on, I'm going to finish this beautiful eye look with some eyelashes and the eyelashes I'm going to be using today are Lily Lashes in the shade Miami, which are really pretty and long and they look just like eyelash extensions. Great, and while those finish drying, I'm going to top off my lip using the Urban Decay Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Back Talk. Oh my god, I love it. 
love it. They're so fluffy and long. All right, guys, so check it out. This is our finished look. I absolutely adore the gold on the eyelids. I think it's so glamorous, it's so rich luxurious i love the eyelashes as well i know it's kind of like off topic but lily lashes in the style miami are popping what do you guys think comment a heart down below if you like this look all right so to conclude this pretty rich collection review i do have to say that the eyeshadow palette was my absolute favorite item in this collection i feel like again you can do so much with this eyeshadow palette you can do natural you can do like big big baba boom glam um i love the packaging on this i think it's absolutely worth 49 dollars. i would buy this for myself again and for a friend i also have to give a big thumbs up for the new highlight shades i feel like this is a great everyday highlight shade and then this guy is definitely like a party highlight it's like that new year's eve highlight because it's so unique i think the formula of these are phenomenal they're totally totally worth your money i think these are 30 dollars each and I would repurchase both of these. And that does it for this video, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and found some value from it, please don't forget to drop me a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Like always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share. I'll see you on the next one.